Trujillo was found in 1534 by Diego de Almagro under the name of Villa Trujillo in honor of Francisco Pizarro's birthplace. On 33rd November 1537, King Charles I of Spain gave it the rank of city of the coat of arms that remains a symbol for the city. Trujillo is also known as the Ciudad de la Eterna Primavera. During the 18th century, due to the frequent pirate attack, they built walls that are still visible. In 1619, an earthquake destroyed the city. Years later, in 1624, a new period search started with the rebuilding of places and the opening of the seminary and the school of Jesuits. Until the mid 20th century, the wealth of Hit no Town was given in the agricultural production and its exports and from then on it began the industrialization and the trade, prevailing the agricultural products of the sugar cane and rice. Around the city you will find numerous and wonderful archaeological monuments of the Mochica and Chima cultures, outstanding Chanchan citadel. Trujillo is known as the capital of La Ma Marinera, and it celebrates during January a well-attended national festival. The city of Trujillo is home of the Paso Horses, unique in the world and of its elegant horse dealers with ponchos of linen and high hats. The Cathedral. It was built between 1637 and 1666 and rebuilt between 1768 to 1781. It had a beautiful decoration in its interior and colonial paintings. It has a museum of re religious art with exhibition of painting and sculptures. The main square. Like a traditional Spanish city, the cathedral of main church, the city hall. Chan Chan. It was the largest city and has ex existed in South America and remained that way even when it lay in ruins during part of the Spanish colonial period. At 18 kilometers by some measures and, mo and more than 20 kilometers, including its surrounding agricultural district, this gigantic city formed the capital of the Chimo Kingdom of the Chimo Civilization. Located 5 kilometers west of modern Trujillo, Outsizing it until modern expansion, the ruins of Chan Chan are an extraordinary site, consisting of 20 citadels constructed by 10 generation of rulers. It would be impossible to visit it all. Chan Chan now lays in a dilapidated state. Damage caused by El Niño rains have left the once towering walls of Chan Chan looking like melted snow. The most recent and most severe damage took place early last century when most of the remaining details on the walls were washed away. Of the massive archaeological site, oh, one small part in itself huge has been saved from the elements with careful restoration, known as the Techudi complex. It is one of the last of the urban complexes constructed. In Tianchan, the Chimu rulers were expected to construct their own living and administrative centers to manage the kingdom. When a ruler died, he and all his administrative staff are buried with him inside the com his complex. The complex is then sealed and a new one constructed by the following ruler. Exploring the entire seat can be done of foot, but there is not much to see other than melted walls. In the Chuli complex, however, you can get an idea of how spectacular Chan Chan was. The walls are contracted with adobe bricks and covered with a smooth surface on which images were ca carved. These images had a maritime theme of fish, grapes, and pelican birds, a bird they are also used to help them fish. 
distinct bulk of a string. The 2D complex consists of three plazas increasingly less exquisitely decorated as you move closer and closer to the residential areas. There was length need to show off its chief things, bringing tribute in these areas as they will not be visited. Other significant parts of the complex are the administration and taxation areas. In this part of the city there are many boats of which representatives from a specific parts of the kingdom would bring their tributes to be accounted for. This area filled with people surrounded by baking mud walls, the chimney made ventilation a priority. Here the walls were designed with holes in the form of fishing nets. All these areas are connected by corridors with towering decorated walls leading, eventually, towards the area of the ruling elite and the king himself. Here you will also find the one of the city's water supplies and deep pool drop down below the ground water level. In the, place area, in the palace area of the city is the tomb of the ruler of he, he, this time, buried with many others to accompany him in the afterlife, with all the politicians a light kept off the next generation to control of the kingdom. Waka del Sol y la Luna The Waka del Sol y de la Luna are an archaeological complex of the Moche Aparenca civilization in North Sar of Peru. The complex consists of two temples which resemble of Mexican pyramids of the sun and the moon in Teotihuacan. Significant archaeological research has only been done at the complex since the early 1990s. The larger of the two pyramids, Huaca del Sol, has not been excavated so far. The Huaca de la Luna is the only one open to the public at this time. Unlike the archaeological sites near Cusco, the Huaca del Sol y de la Luna are adorned with colorful paintings, typical of the Moche culture. Each of these paintings is about 1.7 meters, nearly 6 feet tall. The typical Moche paintings are found both on the interior walls and on the exterior of the temples. The Huaca de la Luna consists consists of five separate buildings built over the top of each other to form the pyramid-like structure. The Huaca del Sol is estimated to consist of 11 buildings. Uh, it is believed with each new generation of priests of or rulers, the old temple was covered with clay brick, and a new temple was constructed on top of the former temple. Your food. Chambar. It is a wheat soup. It has been green pears, dried beans, and broad beans with beef, salt pig meat, and pig skin. It's spit with aromatic herbs. A traditional desert of the area is the King Kong, a great pasture field with manjar blanco, sweet prepared with milk, and fruit sweet and machacado, sweet prepared with bone free. The popular and traditional drink is the chicha de jora, and in the popular classes, the yonke, a kind of brandy made of sugar cane. Ceviche, also spelled ceviche, is a trusty seafood dish popular through, throughout Peru. It is prepared with white fish such as sea bass, lemon, onion, peppers, garlic and cilantro. All throw recipes very greatly. Ceviche can also be made with shrimp, saltfish or palm herbs from those who like ceviche but not seafood. It is different from Equatorian ceviche which is more soupy and heavy on the tomato tomatoes, like many ceviches. The fish is not cooked with heat, but rather with strong acid of the lemon or lime juice.
For the reason, it is best to eat it fresh before the citrus flavors overwhelm the fish. Visit Trujillo. It will be the most beautiful experience in your life. We're waiting for you.